All right, welcome back to Europe Truck Simulator 2. We are in, I think, Bern, and we are looking for jobs. Five more contracts to do five more countries. Now, what did we do? <laughs> we have done Prague first, and then we did Strasbourg, so France, Germany is three, Italy five, Austria six. No, five. One, two, three, four, five. We've done the five easiest ones, basically. <laughs> we want something that isn't F or D or I or A. <laughs> PL, Poland, okay, yep. That's really far. <laughs> and from there, we would struggle to then get to a different country in order to be able to return more easily. But I, if that's the best I can do, I feel perhaps Zurich has a lot more options. Poznan, I think it might well be, and that is a very long trip. All right, we are at least going to a different part of the city. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. Just uh, jump left, the queue a little bit. Then exit left. Got a few things along here. Looks like recruitment agencies along here. There's a truck dealership along here as well. This is a weird sort of roundabout, I guess, because oh, I thought you said turn right. Oh, are you meaning this? That's straight ahead, not turning right. Uh, GPS gets a bit confused by complex road systems. Alright. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, and I thought that the delivery from Prague was a long one. Okay, I didn't see anyone coming, but alright. Seems there was someone there. They probably came around that roundabout that wasn't a roundabout. Go straight. Oh, yeah, okay, I see the problem. It looks like people are going straight ahead, but they're not. They're actually in the lane to keep going around. What the hell's going on up here with this road? Ah, we have to go under to loop up onto the motorway. Gotcha. Oh, there's a photo opportunity up here. This delivery is going to be almost an hour long. What are these then? Zentrum Paul Klee. Okay, so the Paul Klee Center. I don't know who Paul Klee is, and I'm not sure if I should. But, okay. That is built into the hill. That's as close as I can get. That'll look. Sun rising up over them. I wish there was a little information blurb about them, but okay. But when you're focusing on them, maybe just bring up a little tooltip that tells you what they are, so I don't have to then go and Google it later, because I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Alright, let's get up to speed. What am I doing here? Staying left. Okay. Cruise control. Oh, I can get up to 96, 97, woo! 98! Fantastic. Means I could actually set my cruise control to 98. Not that it matters because I'm normally limited to 90, but it just means that in a similar situation with cruise control engaged it's not going to try and slow me down because i'm already at 90 or whatever it's a case of if i'm on a downhill and i manage to go higher than 90 it's going to go yes yes keep going it's going to keep accelerating I'm trying to maybe service stations up here so we have a long road ahead of us we're gonna try and cut what corners we can 
It's going to take us all day to drive there. Setting off at quarter to six. And it reckons that we'll get there at ten to ten. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what time we actually get there when we do such strategies as one, speeding, and two, cutting some corners. And just riding the shoulder, we'll dive across lanes to go to the other side in order to keep a good line through. The next corner as well if we can. Hey, it told us to keep left. Gonna apply as many speedrun strategies as we can to make this journey go faster, within reason. Um, so we can't actually call the services. I did joke earlier about, hey, we could service skip our way up. We can't do that with an external contract because it cancels the delivery if you were to warp to services, which is so weird. Like, it just seems a very stupid thing to have in the game. It's bad enough that they limit your speed, but to limit your mobility in the game as well just seems bizarre. Like, I don't feel why... I'm not, I'm not sure what the justification for that is. If it's to stop people from skipping about, then that just seems a bit... You know, why bother? <laughs> Who knows? What it ends up doing is punishing players. Especially newer players. Who are trying to do some of the external contract stuff but if they do crash if they're not you know great at driving if they do then crash or get themselves stuck somewhere then they can't call for services it's a little bit of a skill gate on it which i don't like oh, i should have gone up and around I keep forgetting that i can go around zurich instead of through it but my gps keeps telling me to go through it <laughs> for whatever reason. I desperately want to go left here, but I'll restrain myself because I don't know what that might do if I go through the no entry bit. It might lock me the wrong side of the barrier for the next intersection. Whoa, sliding. Crunch. Hitting signs again. Somehow managed to hold that without going completely into the wall. It's almost like I shouldn't be speeding with the heavy trailer while going around corners. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. You'd better change lanes soon, car. I'm just riding the shoulder. It's fine. We're using the bonus lane. I wonder if I might want to just stay in the cab for longer. Certainly until we're through these parts. But I assume we're just going to hit the autobahn at some point. I'm going off. Okay, that wasn't good. That's what happens when you start to use your phone when you're driving, or you forget to turn off your alarms. Ah, now it's going to take us forever to get up to speed again. That's the real problem with having to slow down sometimes it's just it takes so long to get up to speed with a heavy cargo because this is what 44 tons here pretty chunky and we'll have to stop for the border crossing anyway then once we're through the border crossing we don't need to worry about stopping at any of those again I think we're usually pretty good on toll booths or anything on the northern side Italy has tons but I don't think there's any in Germany 
Real question is, where am I going to go from Poland? I mean, I can just fast travel if I need to. I always prefer not to resort to fast traveling on these sorts of events and challenges. Because obviously that just breaks things a little bit too much. But if push comes to shove, that might just be what I have to do. And it, it even doesn't even solve everything necessarily because the the danger is is that whether you drive somewhere or fast travel somewhere, I then might not even have a delivery to go back to Switzerland. They really needed to add... Oh, I could have just skipped through. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Illegal entry, I would be shot. Just realised that the barrier didn't quite completely go down from the truck ahead. So, we just going to barge our way through rather than waiting forever. It's all well and good for the AI to wait for traffic, but uh, there's very rarely a gap in the traffic at that point. So. Alright, now we should be a lot more safe to just hit it in scenic mode and get moving. We're in cruise control. We're retracing our steps to an extent I feel from uh, our original journey down this way. Or maybe this is from the... no this will be from the Stuttgart probably. Yeah, I could fast travel to Slovenia, or maybe even Amsterdam or something. So we've got to do five more countries. Poland is one of them. Three more would be Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. Um, England would be another, or Spain. Normally I would do a series of short contracts and then finish with a large contract, but we're halfway through and already doing a very large contract, so I don't particularly feel obliged to do that. I should probably indicate when I'm drifting between lanes. That looks like it should be a river valley down there. Instead there's a farm there. out from changing lanes behind this truck. That might be fine. Oh, actually, he's pulling ahead anyway, because he's got a lighter trailer, presumably. Are we going to indicate? Before we cut that person off. See? Evidence. I'm indicating. That makes it okay, right? just drive with my hazards on the whole time. Ooh, 96, 97, 98. Oh, can we crack 100? Yes, we can. Oh, I love it when we're able to speed on a downhill stretch. <laughs> we'll make as much out of this as we can. And 
all too soon, it's over. And uphill again. ETA now down to almost 9pm, so we've shaved off almost three quarters of an hour. Okay, whoop, my, my view just completely alt-tabbed to a different window for some reason. Chrome, like, completely took control. That was weird. I've had the screen flicker from, like, video driver issues before. At least I assume that's what it is. I've not had the window just completely get dominated by something else before. That's bizarre. Maybe I just need to close more things before I start streaming in future. <laughs> At least I didn't take too much damage from that. It's not like I rammed into someone. But I really don't want that happening when I'm on like a two lane road and I drift into oncoming traffic or something. That would be bad. Very weird. I think it's a case of, well, once I do my going live posts, I should just close windows. of a traffic jam to get into the services there. What city are we passing now? Oh, it's, yeah, okay, Nuremberg. Ah, this is the way that we came, yeah, from Prague. First delivery, we were coming the other direction along here. So at some point we're just going to have to travel to Nuremberg and drive around and explore the place.
Seems weird that we keep going north. Surely at some point we have to go east again, right? <laughs> I think worth pointing out, we've got our ETA now down to 8 o'clock, almost. Well, it was almost 10 o'clock, so that's pretty good. That's what happens when you drive illegally. <laughs> Don't do this in real life. <laughs> I almost need like an advisory warning at the start of every one of my videos in this game. <laughs> The video that you're about to see involves unpaid actors in virtual environments. Do not try this at home. <laughs> Gee, I'm gonna have to sleep again, aren't I? Yeah, two hours and ten and I've got six hours remaining. There's no way that I'm shaving off that much time. So my ETA is actually going to be sometime in the morning. <laughs> There's no getting around that. Alright, so I need to be on the lookout for a rest stop now. No excuses really, the next one that I see I should jump into and sleep. What's the bedding? There's not going to be one for ages. It's a gas station up here. Is there a rest stop component? There might be, and it just doesn't show on this map view. Let's hop in the cab. The dash GPS is better about the zoom levels and the icons. Okay, there is one on the other side already showing up. Yep, there's one here. Good. Time to dip in and have an app. Well, we've shaved at least two hours off the ETA already. You know what? I could just fill up with gas while I'm here as well. Why not? I'm down to like half a tank. So I may as well. Alright, let's see if we can get the truck stop working properly. Some of these don't like to let me stop at them. A oh, nice big parking space, good. And that was the other advantage with going through the gas station, is we kind of needed to, to get here. Right, sleep. Man, it's 25 past midnight, we could just sleep again, but I'm close enough to the destination now that all right, we'll do some night driving. So be it. So I usually prefer not to. Oh, I'm still 272 k's away, actually. Maybe I should have. I should have just slept again. It's fine. We can put the high beams on. Just blind everyone else. And so have a little bit more of a experience. Not much point being on the outside of the truck because you really don't see much. The stars are pretty and everything but I can't drive like this. Uh, so you just have to appreciate them in the mirrors. I guess you can see the shadows. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what the bit rate's like coming through here to be honest. But the definition might not be great. Oh, We're gonna be streaming for an hour by the time we finish one delivery and here was I thinking I might be able to do all five of these today yeah we'd already gotten the short ones out of the way hadn't we we were always going to have to do at least one further afield but maybe the go to should be just be fast travel to like Amsterdam 
and see what deliveries we get from there. And then each time we end up in Switzerland, instead of expecting to take a delivery away, if there isn't one that's perfectly convenient, then we just fast travel. And we just roll the dice. It's still pretty risky because there's no guarantee that we're going to actually right. get what we want where we want them. But that's always the way. It's the same if we drive somewhere. There's no guarantees. It's going to go first person for this bit here because that's pretty sketchy driving through that section. Try and stay on the shoulder and not crash into anyone. I feel it should be a full moon. Maybe it's a different phase each day or something. That would be also kind of cool. Not really noticed before. Like Sunday being full or Monday being full and then just work your way through the phases. That'd be kind of cool. I doubt it's like that though. The old border crossing up ahead. Oh, now we have tolls. Are there any that I wouldn't have to stop at? Probably not. No, uh, if I was a little bit faster, I might have been able to sneak through after that other truck. Oh well, never mind. Yeah. Almost there now. Pretty close. Almost less than 100 Ks, which is nice. Really wish I could just service warp. <laughs> Lane. Mm. 
Okay, toll booth again. With roadworks too. Can we find a car or something to follow? Ooh, we overturned there a little bit. Sometimes that just happens. I should have gone to the left because, yeah. I would have had to stop once. But the car in front's going to stop anyway. Now I can gun it though, hopefully, and get through without it going down. No. Bollocks. <laughs> Sometimes you can drive through. I think it's only the ones that you don't have to stop at though. The fact that I actually have to stop and press a button on this one, I guess. When it's the telepass ones, then you can follow someone through and the gate just stays up if you're following closely behind. But I think when you actually have to press the button to pay, then it doesn't let you. Oh, we're almost there now. Let's go get through this twisty bit over the interchange. And then get off at the exit to pop into Poshnan, or however I'm supposed to pronounce that. <laughs> Turn left. what the bit over the inn means. Is it like Poznan? Something? Oh, just as the light went green, so he's going to start going. Oh, bollocks. I thought I was going to miss that. tip of the trailer caught of it as well oh well that's what happens when you're impatient finally we are here indeed finally we are here it's been a long trip <laughs> honestly i think that one the 90 xp actually seems just as easy as the other because i'd have to do a real tight corner to get it alongside the fence to the left Whereas if I just turn it around and reverse it, just flip it and reverse it, that's just as easy, really. So, you know, sometimes we'll take the difficult ones. <laughs> well, the supposedly difficult ones, and say this, this wasn't even that difficult. I don't see how this was 90 XP. I could understand it being like 40 instead of 15, but how is that 90? Whatever. Ah, uh, Satisfactory. No, nope, that's a different game. 2.6% damage. Whew, that's a long one. Six out of ten. 